Let's take another look here at another gas stoichiometry problem. It's asking us for the mass of sulfur. And so in putting that, we're looking for grams of sulfur. Must be used to produce 12.61 liters of sulfur dioxide. So there's that given starting information that we're going to go ahead and write down. And notice that it says add SDP. And why is that important? Because we can use the one mole equals 22.4 liters in this conversion as we go here. So let's go ahead and we know we need to drop down liters of SO2. And since we know that one mole of any of these substances equals 22.4 liters, we're going to go ahead and start right there and right up here. There's that one mole of SO2. Next step is going to be to drop down moles of SO2. We're trying to get to grams of sulfur. We're not there. We cannot go directly from moles of SO2 to grams of sulfur, which means we need to transition here to moles of sulfur. And that should look familiar to us. Now we've got a mole to mole ratio. We have this already balanced. I see a coefficient of eight in front of the sulfur dioxide. Last step is gonna to be to drop down moles of sulfur. So we've got one mole of sulfur. Well, how much does one mole of sulfur, what sulfur? Why? Wow. Good grief, guys, I can't talk. I can't even write, excuse me. How much does one mole of sulfur weigh? Well, we know that sulfur weighs 32 and there are eight atoms of it. So our total mass on sulfur is 256. And now we're going to multiply straight across. So we've got 12.61 times 256 divided by 22.4 times 8. And that is going to give us a total of 18.01 grams of sulfur. Okay, so there's that final answer. You've got one molar mass on this, but take your time. Make sure you look over it and you won't make any mistakes.